time of year where we're all getting sick. Yay! But not really. I wanted to make this video for days when you're not quite feeling 100%. So maybe you have a cold or some sniffles and you're just feeling a little bit under the weather. As CoverGirl's Glambassador, I'm gonna be showing you quick and easy makeup that you can do on days like this, as well as a snuggly little outfit you can wear and also some on-the-go essentials to keep in your bag. So let's get this sick day started. Starting with a super simple skincare routine, I like to wash my face first and I'm loving this cleanser from Tatcha, which is actually a powder formula. So you put a little bit in your hand, mix it with water, and then once it emulsifies, it turns into this milky, creamy lather. It's a scrub and cleanser all in one and feels so nice and just leaves you feeling refreshed, which is definitely what you want when you're not feeling well. Hydration is always important, but it's especially important when you're sick. You all know that I love me some of my Kate Somerville moisturizer, but to amp things up for a sick day, I like to take a few drops of the Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate and add that to my moisturizer. I mix the two together and then I put it on my face. Usually when you're not feeling well, your eye area shows it the most. Your dark circles may seem a little bit darker, your eyes are puffy, they're just feeling tired and bleh. To help with this, I love using the Depuffer from CoverGirl and Olay. And this is actually one of my old favorites. The formula is really cool because the Olay serum helps decrease puffiness and the concealer helps hide dark circles. My favorite thing about the Depuffer has always been the metal tip. It feels so so good because it's super cooling and just instantly soothes your eyes. When I'm not feeling well, I don't like to wear a ton of stuff in my eye area. I don't want anything cakey. And this is the perfect thing that's gonna give me a little bit of moisture and depuffing action and also brightness in my eye area. Surprise! To fill in my brows, I have been using a new brow pencil because that has been my mission for 2016. Find a new brow pencil, Ingrid. I've been loving the long wear brow pencil from Bobbi Brown. I love that there's a brush on one end and then on the other end, there's a slanted pencil which works really well for filling in your brows. So I usually just comb through a little bit and then fill them in. Then I follow up with the Bobbi Brown Tinted Brow Shaping Gel, and this just helps keep my brows in place and also adds a slight tint to my brows, so it fills in any areas that I may have missed with the pencil. For eye makeup, the first thing that I'm using is the CoverGirl True Naked Waterproof Eyeliner Duo. I like waterproof makeup in general, but when you're not feeling 100%, it's great because usually your eye area gets a little bit watery, you may be sniffly, and it's just nice to have stuff that's gonna stay on and not just run everywhere. The eyeliner is actually double-ended, so you get two colors in one. On my upper lash line, I'm using the shade Penny, which is the lighter brown. And then on my upper inner rim, I'm using the darker color Espresso. I have found that this works just as well as a higher-end double-ended liner, except that it costs way less. And I also love how this is a way to add a little bit more dimension to your eyes without having to go through a whole like eyeshadow, eyeliner, Liner, the whole shebang, you know what I'm saying? The absolute best way to make your eyes feel more bright and open is to apply mascara and lift those lashes up. Today I'm using CoverGirl's Plumpify Mascara and you may remember that I used this last month and really liked it and I'm still using it and still loving it. Many of us want more voluminous lashes, but what I've learned from CoverGirl is that you really can't get all the volume that you want without lifting your lashes first. Lifting is different than curling because lifting starts at the root of the lash right at the base. My favorite thing about this mascara is the Cool Helix brush because it has two kinds of bristles. It has these little fins that grab and lift the lashes. I also really like how there's a little ball shape at the end of the brush so that makes getting the lashes on the outer edges really easy. I know when I'm sick, I normally look a little pale. I just don't have as much color in my face as I normally do. To add a little color and a natural flush to my face, I'm using the Chanticale Cheek Jelly in Happy. And in the past, I have been very afraid of cream blushes or anything that's like a liquid blush, basically anything that's not a powder. But I have to say that with my oily skin, I freaking love this blush. The consistency is really 
really easy to work with. I squeeze a little bit out onto my finger, I dot it onto my cheeks, and then I blend with my fingers. And once I have it in the general area where I want the blush to be, I come in with a clean brush and just kind of dust over it to really make it a seamless blend. I just really love how this feels and I love the natural color that you get because I really do think that cream and gel blushes look more natural than a powder blush. Also trying new blushes, 2016. Then I set everything with my Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Foundation Powder and I just do a light dusting of this on my face, nothing crazy or intense here. And finally, on my lips, I'm using the Lancome Shine Lover lip color in number 388, Plum Insert French Word That I Cannot Pronounce and Don't Want to Butcher. I really love these lip colors from Lancome because they're super hydrating and you get really great color out of them. So it's like a lipstick with a more hydrating quality to it. For my hair, I'm really just concerned with it being clean and not feeling greasy. So I like using the Bumble and Bumble Pret a Powder to soak up any grease that may have formed when I was sleeping or maybe throughout the day. It just helps me stay feeling fresh. So instead of applying this straight to my roots, I put a little bit in my hand and then distribute it in my hair and I just kind of shake it in. And that's because I have brown hair, so I find that if I have to immediately go out after applying this, usually I'll have white residue at the top, but applying this on my hands prevents this. For my sick day snug outfit, you may recognize some of this stuff from my sweater bit because I mean what's cozier than a sweater right for shoes wearing my Nike Thea sneakers I love the color of these sneakers they're also super comfortable because I don't want to be wearing any shoes that are gonna make my feet cold that are just not comfortable to walk in all day I want something ultra comfy my leggings are from coral B2 dubs that is spelled with a K not a C and I really love how they're shiny so they kind of look like they could be leather, but they're not. They're super stretchy, comfortable leggings. And then I have on a gray sweater dress that can also just look like a long sweater. So I love how you can wear this with bare legs or you can wear it with tights or leggings too. Plus it's just extra snuggy to wear underneath my favorite Zara knit sweater. This thing is amazing. I just love wrapping myself up in this. I wear this on days when I'm just hanging out at home. I wear this out. It's so versatile and so comfortable. And when I'm sick, I don't even want to think about styling my hair, so I usually just throw a hat on. So, you know, I gotta bring in the palm beanie because I love me a good palm, and this is my favorite hat right now. And then I have my Mulberry Roxanne bag, which is filled with all of my on-the-go sick day essentials. So these are all things that are really easy to either keep in your backpack, a tote bag, or your regular bag, because they're all small and easy to travel with. First thing I like to keep on hand, these Zycam nasal swabs. I really love how these help shorten a cold and they don't have zinc in them. On top of that, I don't have to worry about this having a taste and the smell is really nice and subtle and kind of herbally. So all you do is snap these open. There's a little Q-tip cotton swab at the end soaked in a solution and you just rub them around inside of your nose and that's it. Love these Jakeman's Throat and Chest Honey and Lemon Menthol Cough Drops. They are awesome. I also love how these are not as sweet as other cough drops out there, but you still get the honey and lemon flavor. It's just a more real honey and lemon flavor. It doesn't have that artificial taste to it. I have this inhaler from Olba's, and this is a mix of menthol, peppermint, and eucalyptus. So if you have a super stuffy nose and you just wanna clear it out a little bit, this is a good thing to sniff and it gives you that like, whoa, oh my gosh, my nose is clear and I can breathe again. I have a little travel container of ibuprofen. I like having some kind of pain reliever on me just in case I get a headache or I have a sore, achy body throughout the day. Eye drops are also really awesome because your eyes tend to get really dry and tired when you're sick. So it's nice to have these on hand to just kind of plop in your eyes, especially in the middle of the day. A little pack of tissues because duh, bugs. The First Aid Beauty Ultra 
repair cream is a great thing to have just in general, but especially when you're sick because you can use it in so many different places. I tend to use this on my hands because they get dry and then also around my nose because if you've been sniffling and you have a runny nose, your nose area just gets red and dry. So this will really soothe it and help it get better. My lips also get super dry when I'm sick. So I like having an intensive lip balm on hand and I've been loving this one from Tatcha. It's really thick and hydrating and it's totally clear. So you can put this on any lip color that you have or you can just put it on by itself. Hand sani, always a good thing to have, but especially when you're sick cause you don't wanna be spreading germs and getting more germs. And I really like hand sanitizers that are in spray form cause they're just a lot easier to manage than a gel and it's easy to share them with people too. So this is about the size of a pen and you just go like, ah, what am I, I? <laughs> well, I guess my <laughs> eye is sanitized now. Time for snackies. Why yes, I do have a soup on the go in my purse because why not? When I'm sick, I know that I will want some hot soup at some point. And if I'm out, who knows if there will be soup available. So these soups on the go are really convenient because you can just pop them in the microwave and then drink from them. Plus you still get the chicken and noodle soup with mini round noodles. Who doesn't want that? Last but not least, I like to carry around some tea bags in my purse because all you need is a cup, hot water, and you can bring your favorite teas with you. Some of my favorites when I'm sick, throat coat, especially if you have a sore throat and you just want it to be soothed a little bit more, this is awesome. When I'm feeling low on energy, I love having some Lady Grey tea from Twinings. I find that this has just the right amount of caffeine without it being too much to the point of being amped and feeling jittery. It just gives me a little pick me up in the middle of the day. The Lady Grey is also a little bit more citrusy than the regular Earl Grey, which I really like. And then I have a Breathe Easy tea that has eucalyptus in it. So so when you hold it and you breathe it in, it helps clear everything out and is just nice and soothing. So that is gonna be it for today. I hope that you find this video helpful, either if you're sick right now or if maybe you find yourself sick in the future. And if you create your own look, I wanna see your photos, so make sure you send them to me and CoverGirl. My Twitter is at Ingrid Nilsson and CoverGirl is at CoverGirl. And if you are sick right now, I'm sending you a big get well hug and lots of just, well, tissues because you're probably having some bugs coming out of your nose right now, right? Here, take this bag of tissues. I love you, I'll see you later.